What's up guys, Sugo here from GamerFusion.com coming to you with, with the weapons I believe you should use for the Trials map Black Shield of week June 26th. So, any hand cannon is really good if it has the high impact. So the last word, the red hand, the thorn. I would recommend a sniper with final round, that's even better. Uh, a rocket launcher with a high blast radius and grenades and horseshoes because that proximity is really useful in the heavy ammo round. And my... I wouldn't recommend having tracking on your rocket. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really serve a great purpose because the map here is pretty straight up front. Um, the sniper, it's a base sniper map. You can run a shotgun on it, but it's it's harder to do with a shotgun than it is with a sniper because most people are running snipers and the sniper gives you the range. And a shotgun, you get lucky sometimes where you'll run up and you will you'll rush them and you might get lucky. But I would suggest using a sniper above all else. Uh, the hand cannon with the high impact, the last word, the thorn, I have a, a custom to my red hand, and that's just, it's the hand cannon that I use, because it's, it's a really good hand cannon. But, as I was saying, hand cannons with high impacts, they're just, they're really good in trials maps. Overall, in all the trials maps, hand cannons have been a big factor. The thorn, the last word, anything like that, it's been a big factor. So, as you can see off the spawn, you can... You know, pull up your sniper, you blink, you do whatever you can to get fast to the middle because the middle is the basic control area. Like, it's the area you want to control right here because the flag spawns right below you and that way you can camp this door because that's the inside area as we call it. And I wouldn't recommend going into that area because it is absolute mayhem when you all, if you are all in there, if somebody's in there, like, it's just you never know what to expect. And so you get a shot off there, and the effort he's spear especially, he takes it down. As you can see, my hand getting a little high impact. Four shots, he has full shield, he's down. Here we go with the snipe, hand cannon finishes him off, he's down. Go for the revive. And especially if you have the perk where you get a revive and you get shields, that is really useful, especially in trials, just because it gives you an extra shield. As you can see, the hand cannon, one, two, three, four. It's already done. And here we go, he's got that going, one, done. Enemy team eliminated. All right, and so here we are again. And as you can see, we went to the middle area. And so this is the PowerPoint. And this is something you don't often, like, you don't often rush up there unless you have, like, he's has one person left, because it's it's very unpredictable. They will slide shotgun you. They might be watching the corner. Like, it's absolutely unpredictable up there, so I would vote staying back and kind of holding on. Because as you can see, there runs around the corner, slide shotgun. We did get the win, but sometimes you're not that lucky. Enemy sometimes maybe he slide shotguns and he gets two of you. I would recommend staying outside, kind of in the overall area. As you can see there, grenade thrown, blade dance, like, it's absolutely, it's a mayhem, available. it's, you never know what you're gonna expect when it comes to the inside area. And so the reason the high impact can can in, as I've said before, is it's just, it's really useful. So one, two, three, dead. Gone. I get out of here. And it's just really useful to have because it just, it absolutely annihilates the competition. So, I would really recommend getting a high impact hand cannon. I personally have a red hand. I have luck in the chamber and final round. And that's a really good roll because I have two rounds that are going to do a lot of damage. But that's everything for now. So, if you want to leave a like and subscribe, that would be really appreciated. Leave a comment if you like what I'm doing below. And for all things gaming, why don't you hop over to GamerFusion.com where we empower your gaming.